Can you handle the epicness of Kirby's yawn? Welcome back to another part of Kirby's Epic Yarn, where we shall find out. Starting from the title screen this time, and the pictures that you get are random. It's not like it matters what your percentage is. But we already have two of the patches, but I'm going to go right away to the game so I don't spoil anything in my other files. We don't need to see those. But, as we left out, Kirby was tapping his foot in anxiety for... Wait for it. The watering can patch. Okay, I forgot what it's called, but... We're gonna make this vine grow even taller. What we will find... None other than the boss's chamber. Fed. So I've already done, whoa, all these levels, and now we're going to go to the boss. Pretty awesome, and only in the third episode, too. So let's hop up here, bounce on some clouds to add some effect, and here is Fangora. Yes, I'm ready. This is Fangora. He's a huge dragon thing. Right after that, he's gonna blow us away. And his tongue is gonna dart out. And what we have to do is get his tongue. And throw it back at him. And get all the stars. The way bosses work is you're gonna get your three medals as always. But then, if you gave him more, uh... Of your beads, oh, Then you get that little patch at the bottom, which will open the way to the new level. Uh... Either way, you're gonna get to the next world. But that's okay. I'm just gonna shoot his tongue again. No, he's gonna just roar. You can't get the little patch thing in his mouth. Unless he opens his mouth. Uh, he is gonna throw some fire things at us, which we can throw right back at him. Get some extra beads. I doubt I can do any of these boss fights perfectly. But I'll try. So, yes, we got it back again. And wind up. Destroy. I have managed to get every single beat so far, so that's good. So we're gonna do this attack again where it goes back into the background and the little floor is shaking and it's gonna be right there. We're gonna just drive away and ooh, it's going down slowly. Stop blowing me away. And more fire No, it's gonna roar and he's probably gonna blow us away again. Yep. As if it really matters. But it is no hope. I, Kirby, will defeat you in the end. Oh my gosh. His tongue came out again. His tongue of yawn all three times. And finally, wind up. And he is down. 1250 beads. Prince Fluff comes back. Do a little dance for our celebration. And there's that swirling magic yarn at the top. And here's another cutscene. Yes. All the beads. All the streak. Fangora music. Oh yes, the mole patch. Now here's that scene. We did it. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Grumble, grumble. Kirby's tummy was growling, so he went searching for food. Too bad there aren't any tomatoes up here, he thought. Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Kirby thought it was an earthquake until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. This is how we get food in patch land. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could, which wasn't very long at all. 
Look at all that, Fluff cried. Kirby was so angry that he ran after Fluff. He chased him for so darn long that he forgot all about being hungry. Oh, yes. Isn't that voice narrator for the Kirby cutscenes awesome? Like, imagine being the voice narrator for Kirby cutscenes. You have to have lots of confidence to do that. It's like one of those places where you go into the library and they read, like, little children's books by Dr. Seuss. And yes. But now, we're gonna throw the mole patch while bouncing. Never before attempted. Yeah. And it's going to create a mole out of thin air, which is going to burrow through the ground. And create a fault. And open the door to the next level. Mole hole. But because of that magic yarn that we just weaved two pieces of the kingdom together to Hotland, this game shouldn't be called epic yarn, it should be called magic yarn. But that's okay. It's a cool game. Nonetheless, so let's go into this next level, Mole Hole. Sleeping on the job again? What's wrong with these guys? Oh well. But yes, this is, again, once more, another transformation. Fuck Kirby. What will it be? It is the minor Kirby. Or at least that's what I like to call it. No, Digger Kirby. You can move, dig with your little claw, and jump. Very simple, but when you go through the little felt, I guess it is, with the cotton, you go really fast, and it's like a maze, and that's exactly what it is. A big maze. So we can jump too, but we can't jump as high as Kirby can. Even though in this game, he can't puff up and fly. He's still a very high jumper. Uh, this is all a maze. I believe the way you want to go is- Oh, not that way, that's the fire guy. You can kill him, but... Not the easiest thing to be done. Oh! This thing's not going to squish you, so be careful. Basically, what you want to do is follow the beads, and if you don't- If you don't let that fall or else, yeah, you can't be able to get that bonus fail apart. We can go down, follow the beads once more. They never lie. I can just tear at this until it breaks. Cause that's what we do to solve our problems. We just hammer at it until it breaks. No strategic moving. No, we're just gonna ram our face into it. Hope for the best. So the, but the way you can get those beads is by going into the background here. And going ever so slowly. You can go faster by pressing 1. To the first treasure. The carrot dresser. It's full of vitamins, but it might just turn your clothes orange. Yes. I believe there's some stuff up there. That's okay. We can break this yarn. So, right now, as I'm recording this, it's almost Christmas. Just got my Christmas tree. I'm recording right next to it. So it smells like pines and all that stuff. But yes. Hope you guys are having a good holiday season. Ah! No! By the time it's out, this is probably going to be, uh out during my break from school, so that will be nice. Let's just break this again. Hammer at it, Kirby! And it was nothing important. Now I feel gypped. Oh well, but if we go all the way to the left, going up through this maze, you want to be careful of how you use your felt because you might just do that. Yeah, you, might, you won't be able to continue if you tear through all the felt that you can. Cause then there's no way back up. Oh no! Oh, I'm trapped. Oh, good thing those things fell again, or else Kirby would have been dead, and the adventure wouldn't be able to continue. That'd be so tragic. Let's hope not to get hit by this guy. Ah, oh, midair hit. And we can go through this. Follow these ones again. You can find some stars hidden in here. Uh, stars are. Kind of like hidden collectibles, I guess, because there's a set number of them in the level, but I'm definitely not going to be able to get all of those. That's just impossible. It's not that they're hard to get, but there's so many and they're hard to find. Oh! 
Come on, Kirby. Oh well, that star was very much worth it. So let's hammer at this. And... Oh, that was actually some beads. So these fire guys are gonna... Salamanders. Gonna climb up and... Oh, this is a maze of sorts. Yes, I think what we want to do is go around... No, we can't go around. Okay, I got this. Go down here. Ah. Make this thing fall. Then... Trap yourself. Oh, well. That's okay. Ugh. This music is so cool. Oh, well, let's get our second treasure. The tree stump bed. Squirrels and lumberjacks can relax here peacefully. Just not at the same time. So true. Uh, oh. More puzzles. So many puzzles. So if you keep digging... There is a chance you can find these these uh, stars I was talking about. But there's also a chance that you'll dig too far and won't be able to go back up to get them, so... You want to be careful of that. I guess what you could do is just look up where everything is, but that wouldn't be fun. There's a star right there. That was just luck. Dig, Kirby! Get all the beads! There's no time to waste! Oh! Secret little bead thing, I knew that was there. Okay. I believe there's another one, but we don't need to get every bead. We already got our treasure, then we can fall down into the roller and emerge. Without the last treasure. Ugh. I knew I missed that. I'm not even gonna get the third- wait- wait, we might be- Aww. Oh, so close. Yes, we do our final little dance, and levels over, and we get another patch in our mole hole. Uh, I got hit a couple of times, so I didn't have that much of a streak. But I'm actually gonna have to go back. As much as I don't want to, I'm kind of ashamed that I missed a treasure in the first world of Kirby's Epic Yarn. But we'll throw this kazoo. It looks like. It's gonna wake up this poor sleeping guy, isn't it? Yep. Confetti! Oh, it's a party popper. And it's gonna fly away and open the way to the last level. So how these things work is this whole place that we're in is a world. And there are four main levels in the world and then the boss. Then if you complete the boss and get his patch, you will also get two extra levels that are essential for 100% in the game. So I'll meet you back at the CD. And now they're both sleeping. Ugh. They did not listen to me at all. Okay, so finally I made it down here. You can get over here by doing what I just did. And in this very place is the soundtrack. You can drop down here. On get the mole hole soundtrack. That's all I need to do. Now I can just breeze through the whole thing. Uh, there were some stars that I found when I was searching. Uh, I think most of them are along the outer edges. It's not important though. So let's just get these bees really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna get some power stars so I can get more metals. I don't know why I call them power stars. This is not Super Mario Galaxy. Okay, that should do it. Down here, let's try to get the maximum one. So I'll show you, if you actually manage to get it, it doesn't add to your bead count, but it adds to your star ring to get us the gold medal for the fourth time. I actually tried this two more times and couldn't get it. So I guess four times the charm. And in one of my failed attempts, uh, the tenant guy, actually, yeah, he wants to introduce us to his brothers. So we have to come back and see him. And Zeke also wants me to come over to play. I'm just neglecting all my friends here. Kirby may be like the guy to save the world. Maybe he's not a good friend. I don't know. We'll see in the next episode.
So... Is Fangora more epic than Kirby's Yawn? Find out in the next episode. No, I'm not gonna find him again. See you guys then.